for week seven now is a little bit more interested in hypnosis. I started off with the Google search, just typed in the word hypnosis and the NCCIH posted a YouTube video that popped up uh, on it. It was, it was a whole lecture of Dr. David Spiegel. He is a chair and associate professor at Stanford University. Dr. Spiegel mentioned that while Freud was using hypnosis during free association, he had a patient that jumped up and hugged him by the neck and he stopped using hypnosis and also he put the chair, his chair behind the famous couch that we all know of. The professor put in the terms of an increased in uh, attentive focus and a diminished peripheral focus. So in the narrow focal point, you have uh, there's one side that's uh, dissociation, and then on the other side of it, you have suggestibility, where people being hypnotized will be able to uh, take in like any suggestions or information you give them, and will be very less critical about it. Also mentioned was self-hypnosis. It's sometimes used by Olympic skiers they visualize everything uh, of a slope such as the, the wind hitting the face and the movements they would do uh, when they can't ski due to snow conditions he mentioned that hypnotizability was a, a trait and only 10 to 15 percent of the population are very hypnotizable and the rest of the population does hypnotize but not as well as that 10 to 15 percent he said he hypnotized about 8,000 patients in his in his career and uh, using fMRIs and studies he says that to get them hypnotized he would give them hypnotizable instructions so I was curious on what those instructions were but I didn't find them on a Google search but what I did find was a presentation on hypnosis and the presentation mentioned was that it's used in cognitive behavior therapy and also it is very effective for treating problems uh, such as pain, anxiety, depression, obesity, and smoking.